Question 23 says, write these in order of size, starting with the smallest. Now, what we've got is we've got a mixture of fractions, decimals, and percentages. So they're all in different formats. Easiest thing to do is turn them all into the same format so that they are easier to compare. Recommend not turning them into fractions. It is possible to do, but that will be the hardest way to do it. Because if you end up with four different fractions, they could all have different denominators, and that's not going to be very easy at all. So, for example, 43% would be 43 out of 100. 0.7 is 7 tenths. 0.34 is 34 out of 100 and this is 3 quarters now that's not really very easy because they've all got different denominators so don't turn them all into fractions what we could do is turn them all into decimals so 0.34 is already a decimal so that's fine 0.7 is a one digit decimal but to make it easy to compare let's turn it into a two digit decimal so 0.7 is the same as 0.70 and 43% is 0.43. The only other one is 3 quarters. Well, remember your pizza. If you've got quarters as a decimal, each one would have to be 0.25. And 3 quarters, 3 lots of 0.25 is 0.75. So, all we've got to do now is put them in the correct order of size. So... The smallest one is going to be 0.34. So that goes in first. That's that one done. Next smallest is 43, 0.43, which comes from 43%. So we need to write the original thing in, which was 43%. That's done. Then we've got 0.70, which comes from 0.7. Finally, we've got... 0.75 which comes from three quarters the only other thing you could have done was turn them into percentages instead of decimals so if you'd have done that you would have ended up with three quarters being 75 percent 0.34 would have been 34 percent 0.7 would have been 70 percent and 43 percent obviously is already a percentage However, if you'd have done it this way, you would have still got exactly the same order from smallest to biggest. So either fractions, um, you must leave fractions because you'll end up with different denominators, but you could do turn them in at either decimals or percentages and you'll get the same answer.